What's going on guys? Zenos here and today in this video of the 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross, I am going to recommend you the best 3 SSR pick heroes in this game. That is pretty much gonna help you a lot, especially as a beginner and a starter, to clear out the contents of the game as much as fast as possible, alright? Please know that it is of the global version, not of the Japan and the Korean version because compared to the Japan and Korean version, global version still needs a lot of heroes that needs to be like imported, alright? There are so many heroes that is pretty much lacking. So if you are looking out into the older tier list that is pretty much based on the Japan and the Korean version, it is not gonna match over here because so many heroes are pretty much missing right over here. Meaning like you won't be able to get them through the raids right over here and you might be keep on like uh, re-rolling over and over and over again and you won't be able to get the one that you need because they are not here right now they are not here guys the main uh, awesome SSR or SS units uh, right uh, that is pretty much like recommended by, recommended by so many players or youtubers right out there is not here so be careful about that one or you might just be wasting your time so I'm gonna recommend you the top three SSR units heroes of this version the global version all right so before you start this video please subscribe to my channel all right can you please do that and now let's get this started so right over here guys let's get in the hero section well obviously I really don't have not got them so that means what's gonna happen is that like their shadow will just appear so my first recommendation is gonna be the Camelot sword new King Arthur you can see right over here his attribute is strength and you can actually pull him or draw him through the current summon banner it's pretty awesome his skills are really amazing first skill has a uh, really good nuke on the single target and it can disable the recovery skill for two turns really good against those kind of opponents that keeps on replenishing it, its health over and over again but it's actually second skill that pretty much shines like outshines every one of them because just look at it it can do remove debuff from all allies which is so good uh whether it be like the pve contents or the pvp arena contents this is always going to be really good all right uh re being able to remove the debuff from all allies can turn the table the turn the tide because uh, it can really i mean like the negative status effects can really put uh, your team or allies into a severe disadvantage and being able to do a aoe cleanse is just too good increase the basic stats by 30 percent wow that's another amazing stuff that you really want to have if you really want to give a very good higher attack boost to your main attack obviously he himself being that one he is a very good buffer okay at the same time uh he also grants the debuff immunity for three turns wow that is so good these are the things that you want to have right away in the arena or pvp contents or rta whatever that is in this game uh, right off the bat because this will really help you a lot and especially in the pve contents as well this is a really good utility that you cannot easily find on the other hero units He's pretty much a utility set, but he can also deal a lot of damage, especially when it comes to his third skill. That makes him pretty amazing. Just look at it. Inflicts Siva damage equal to 560% of attack on one enemy, and Siva, what it does is that like it deal uh, it. Uh, provides a two times critical chance increase that is good that is really good if you can just uh, hit a critical hit then that means you will be able to deal a massive amount of damage right from the very start so that's the thing guys that's the thing what i really like so right over here in this game uh, the critical damage is pretty good as well just look at it the basic critical damage is already 150 percent that is good because like most of the rpg games right out there only provide 50 percent as the bonus critical damage which is like not really that good like air flight i think calibria as well i think summoner's wars as well like those kind of games rpg games only provide 50 percent of the like critical damage boost but in this game you are getting like 150 percent critical damage boost obviously you want to uh you know like tap into the, your critical damage output this is just too good uh so uh in that sense he can deal a lot and lots of damage guys a lot and lots of damage that's gonna be my first recommendation to you guys get him right up the bat now next uh pick that i really want to uh recommend to you guys is this guy right over here overpower hunter slater the i'm mean, like he is also really good uh, especially if you want to nuke a single target you want to deal a massive amount of damage against a single target he is of real good use he's just too amazing first of all look at his 
first skill. What it can do is that it inflicts saver damage right off the bat with this first skill. How convenient. Uh, equal to 400% of attack on one enemy. 400 freaking percent. That is insane. That's a lot of damage when it comes to the first skill. I mean like his, uh, you know, like the basic skill right up there guys. And Seaver, what he does like two times critical chance increase. That is good. Now next one is gonna be his the second type skill. That's gonna be the Soul Blade. What it's gonna do is that like it will remove stances from one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 360% of attack then disable the stance skills for two turn. This is pretty much like a disabler unit at this moment which, which is pretty much a situational and situational type but that's alright. But let's look into his main skill that is gonna be his Combined attack circle of oppression. What it is gonna do is like inflict damage equal to 630% of attack on one enemy. 630%. Like, what? That's a lot of damage. I mean, like, you really want to get rid of, of a single target enemy, especially that can be a boss unit, and you want to get rid of him uh, right away, then this guy can of be a very awesome use, alright? And Infects for two turns. Now, what infects does that restricts recovery related stats, all right? So the target won't be able to recover as well, meaning like he is going to make that 630% attack damage as a solid damage output. So that's so good. Or you can go with the overpower as well, which what it does that like it inflicts the damage equal to the 540% of attack to one enemy and infects for the two turns as well. So this one right over here, guys, <laughs> this skill. Really too good. Just really awesome. Uh, I mean like he is a single target nuker guys. That's all I can really say about him. Now let's move on to the next one guys. Alright. This guy right over here is gonna be the best in my opinion. I mean like if you get him, you are the lucky guy. You are the lucky guy. And guess what guys? I have actually got him in my Asian version. Okay. I mean like in my Asian server. So I'm pretty happy that I got him. Tempest. Holy Knight Hauser. He's really awesome. Now just look at him. I'm like, you really need to get him. You know why? Because a lot of AoE damage he provides. If you really want to like breeze through the content, uh, content of this game, like it's nothing. I mean like you want to just make a very fast progress in this game. This guy will really help you a lot. I'm always a fan of AoE damage and then this guy just provides a plethora of that one. Alright, just look at it. Rising Storm, it says... In, inflicts the pierce damage equal to 250% of attack on all enemies. Pierce damage guys. 250% might look a little bit low to you, but it's a pierce damage. You know what pierce damage is? Pierce will actually increase the pierce rate increased by up to 3 times. Wow. <laughs> pierce means like it sort of like ignores the armor. Alright, so that means like the damage that you are gonna deal is sort of like a nearly nearly a pure type of damage. Meaning like, you know like the damage is gonna be pure. It doesn't go through like, you know, all the sort of like defense, uh, you know, like reduction and stuff like that. It just goes and penetrates through. That is so good. Uh, it is gonna be like good everywhere, guys. <laughs> really good. Even against the high defense type of opponents, all right? The next one is gonna be this one. The Super Cyclone. Inflicts the severe damage equal to 250% of attack on all enemies. Just look at it. His first skill, first skill is also AoE attack. And his second skill is also an AoE attack. Like what? The first one is giving a pierce type of damage. Whereas the second is giving a severe type of damage. Severe is pretty good as well because it boosts the critical chance by up to two times. That is insane. Oh my god. Wow. Just look at that. This is the particular unit I really do recommend you guys to get right up the bat because like wow with him being around you will be able to clear out so many contents without any problem so fast. Now let's move on to the final skill. Just look into this one guys. The combined attack dragon castle. Inflicts the damage equal to 400% of attack on all enemies. Wow there we go another AOE attack like what? <laughs> He's an AOE king. Decreases the skill ranks and then depletes the ultimate move gauge by a number of 
uh, skill rank decreases. Wow, that's good. I'm mean, like, he has a lot of utilities that he can provide on the table. So good, especially for the PvE content. You really want to make a very fast progression in this game. Then this guy, the Tempest Holy Knight Hausa, will really help you a lot. So these are the three main SSR unit that is gonna really help you out a lot in this game. First one being the Camelot Sword New King Arthur. The second one being the, uh, this one, Overpower Hunter Slater, a single target nuker, so much damage against a single target that uh, he's also gonna make sure that after dealing the damage that the target won't be healing at all. And finally, my best choice is gonna be the Tempest, Holy Knight Hauser. Holy crap, he really do have all AoE skills. All of his skills are AoE type damage dealing. And his first skill has the pierce, uh, <laughs> that pretty much nearly does a true type of damage. The second thing, the second skill gives him the Siva that provides him like a critical rate increased boost. And the third skill is pretty much a very utility type of set. Oh my god. All right. And the next thing that I really want to say to you guys is that, uh, like there are various heroes that are pretty much OP. Like they are the one that you should really get, especially. Uh, belonging to the seven deadly sins, uh, you know, like the teams, but thing is that like they are still not introduced in this game so far. So if you really want to go into the location, just look at it. This hero is, uh, isn't, is not ready yet. That's what he says. This hero is not ready yet. It's not, <laughs> it's not summonable right now. But if you could summon him, the grizzly sin of sloth, king of the fairy king, he is OP. It's just too good. All right. Just look into his skills right over here. Just look at that. Inflict damage equal to 250% of attack on one enemy and petrifies for two turns. Petrify is always, always good. It just like immobilizes and makes the opponent being able to do nothing. All right. Petrify inca incapacitates target. Effect is removed when target is attacked. Wow. That's so good. Just look at the second skill as well. This one. Heals diminished HP of all allies by 50% and removes debuffs. Like what? Damn. This is a really good type of heal that you really would want to have. I'm like, if you get this one, I'm like, this zero unit, your life is set, guys. Your life is set. One of the very good, best uh, support skill right out there. And you can just look into his ultimate skill that says cross suiting. It says inflict the shatter damage equal to 480% of attack on all enemies. That's a very good AoE attack damage. And shatter says ignores resistance. <laughs> Oh my, wow, that's, that's, that's solid. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, king, the fairy king, the grizzly scene of slot is pretty much not available right now, which is pretty sad for right now, all right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that the uh, SS tier list character, like, let's say the, uh, this, uh, fairy king, uh, the gother, and obviously the bun, okay? The bun that we need. Uh, his name is actually, I forgot his name. I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> sorry about that one. Yeah, the ban is pretty much missing. Uh, this uh, this guy, he's still not available. And finally, the another one being the Gotha. He's also not really that available. The strength Gotha, all right? So this is pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. And see you guys in the next video.